Morning all, or is it afternoon? Yes, it's afternoon. Now, for those people who've watched my little series of videos, you'll remember that I had a bit of a nightmare with this ST2 brake module, which I bought having seen an advert for it on Facebook, and I received it and found that anything made it light up. So it would light up going over bumps, accelerating, decelerating, cornering, you name it, this thing was flashing, you know, lighting up the brake light. It was quite obviously faulty, and having emailed the company, ST2, they said I had to return it to them at my expense, which I duly did. Now, it cost me 10 quid, and I sent the whole thing back. In the meantime, David Rand sent me a replacement, which works fantastically. But I received this this morning. This is my original packet, unopened, and you'll notice there's a cross there in the Refused by Customs. So the actual packet had not been opened at all. It was just refused at the border, one assumes, of, uh, you know, is it Lithuania? Yes, it is, I think. And, um, you know, it just, they didn't even get it back. So it's been returned to me. So by popular request, one or two people have said, oh, how about an autopsy? Which of course is always very interesting. So here we are, having opened the packet, here is my original ST2 brake module. I know it's the original one because it's scuffed on the number two. There's text a bit scuffed. And also it makes this rattling sound, which I referred to in a previous video. The replacement one doesn't make a rattling sound. And the replacement one functions exactly as it should. Deceleration, it flashes the brake light. It also, when you turn the ignition key on, it gives one flash of the brake light. And you hear a little tick. So it's definitely working. The new one is great, and I'm glad I've got it. But this old one, I'm curious to know what it is that makes this thing work. And you'll see from the next photograph that's just coming up, the lid just prizes off. It's not glued on, it's not sealed on. And there it is. Now, to me, that looks like a circuit board from some other appliance, because it's got a red LED and a green LED, which are, of course, not visible with the lid on. It's, you know, to me, that tends to indicate that it's not a bespoke circuit board made for this gadget it could be a tilt switch or something else or a, you know it's the sort of thing that they had in pinball machines didn't they on a tilt if you tilt it it would stop stop it from working and those leds to me say that this is not a bespoke circuit board i think it's bought in its entirety like that the active part of it is the copper colored cylinder there on the right hand side now that is level and i noticed that when shaking this thing or tilting it i can feel it holding it with my finger you'll see a little video clip in a minute it makes a ticking sound so it's obviously this is the this, the actual sensor part of things i would suspect as i said in a previous video it's just a ball tilt sensor um, although some people seem to think it was a lot more um, involved than that so this is it now look and I don't know if you can hear that, but it's clacking. There's a, and the clacking comes from that cylinder. So what I did, I removed that cylinder and very gently hacksawed it and opened it up. And there it is, you can see, it's two balls, look. Two ball bearings and you've got your contact, the clear plastic thing at the other end that would have had two wires, two, the prongs sticking out for the block connector to click onto that's all it is it's two balls inside there and I suspect that that is what was wrong with this original ST2 brake module I think they are you know they were just rolling about in there and clacking away so it is simply a ball tilt sensor that's it it's an inertia thing isn't it you know you you brake and one of those balls rolls forward and touches the other one and that completes the circuit. I suspect that that particular component in the case of my ST2 original brake module is the thing that went wrong. I think it was touching, making a circuit constantly. And so whatever separates them, um, or it could be even the smoothness of the inside of the copper tube, maybe it didn't allow the balls to separate. So there it is, that's what's inside this little thing what I would think is a pre-made circuit board with unnecessary LEDs on it and 
that little ball tilts and so that's all there is to it so there you have it by popular request for those people who wanted to know but the replacement which they were as good as they were and sent is absolutely great well worth having and it's uh, definitely to be recommended so take care ride safe and i'll be posting again soon